So guys, it's another inbox review. It's another uh, potential build series. Um, so let's roll the credits and have a look inside the box of the Rubicon models, A15 Crusader. See you in a minute. so guys hello welcome back to the channel um, this is a inbox review um, of a build that i'm gonna be starting um, which essentially is for it's for a group build so over on the black rifle model works community group facebook group um, we are doing a seasonal small scale um, group build um, so the idea is it's the first sign of Christmas time that the group has sort of existed so we thought we'd just do something nice and simple wide open group build um, and that's what we're doing so that the rules are dead simple it's any genre um, as long as it's 148 scale or less um, and you can build anything and then at the end of the group build those that have finished their builds can post some, a picture of their build the group members will vote on it and the one with the most votes the the winner for want of a better term um, we'll win a black rifle model works mug pen and some stickers so yeah it runs from the 1st of november till the 31st of december um yeah and this is an inbox review of this kit which is the rubicon models crusader um, 56 scale and that's what i'm going to be doing as part of that group build although none of the admins are eligible to win obviously <laughs> because that would be wrong um but i'm going to build that and and just throw my hat into the ring as they say um, and do something for the group build um so yeah let's head down to the bench um and have a look at what you get inside the box of this uh, rubicon models crusader i'll see you in a minute So folks, here we are with the Rubicon models, 56 scale, A15 Crusader. Um, lovely box art, uh, tank's actually firing. Um, we can see a destroyed vehicle here. So it's telling us it's 56 scale, CA15 Crusader, and you can build the Mark 1, 2, 3 variants. The Mark 1, Mark 2 with close support option. Um, and you can also build the anti-aircraft Mark II, Mark III for the late war. Uh, you've got an auxiliary turret hill, turret hill, whole turret <laughs> option, three side skirt options. You can do it with or without the rear fuel canister, and you can do it with an open hatch, spare road wheel, and track. So lots and lots of options for such a small kit. Um, obviously, we've got the vehicle on the side there. And then on the back, we've got a little bit of blurb uh, and information about the vehicle. And then we've got these three options here. I really like this option with the black uh, sort of Mickey Mouse almost camouflage. Uh, decals are included. Um, yeah, so and it's available from Rubicon Models. Um, and the kit number is 280025. So let's have a look so we get the instructions which are useful obviously and then we get one two three plastic sprues in the in the rubicon gray plastic so let's have a look at the instructions decals put over there for a second so typical rubicon quality nice finish on the instructions booklet form so first of all we've got the uh it's whiting out a little bit sadly but we've got the sprue maps we've got a copy of the box art there 
Um, and then we're on to the assembly. So again, track and wheel assemblies separate, great for painting. Um, we've then got lower and upper hull coming together. And then we've got this uh, for experience modelers. <laughs> so we can use some 0.5 uh, copper wire to make uh, the headlight guards um, rather than using the kit ones, which are probably a bit chunky. Um, so we'll have a go at that, we'll do that. Um, and then we're on to attaching rear fuel canisters and it's an option, it's telling us it's an option. Um, and then we're moving on to the turret itself. So we've got the Mark 1, Mark 2 infantry support um, and the hatch can be assembled open or closed then we've got the mark three um, and again hatch can be open or closed then we've got the anti-aircraft version mark two mark three um, so we've got lots and lots of options in relation to turrets i think mm, I don't know, probably a Mark II infantry support is, is the way I'm going to go, but we shall see. Um, although, what is quite cool is the anti-aircraft with the twin twin guns, so maybe, maybe I'll go down that route instead, something a bit different. In fact, I think I might do a Mark III late war with the, uh, the anti-aircraft gun, it'd be quite cool. And then we've got the side skirts going on. Um, so we've got Mark II, the infantry support vehicle, Mark III, Mark II and three anti-aircraft. Um, and that one leaves your wheels and tracks exposed. And then attaching the, uh, the spare road wheel. Um, it does tell us that there, let's focus, ish. It's not going to, is it? Uh, but essentially it's saying left hand side of the front hall was mounted with a small transverse auxiliary turret um, with a baser machine gun and the auxiliary turret was awkward to use and was often removed in the field or remained unoccupied. Um, so if I do the anti-aircraft version, the Mark III, then uh, I won't put that on it. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, that's the instructions. Nice and straightforward. Decals. Um, I'm not going to bother taking them out. Typical Rubicon quality, lovely in register, everything's as it should be, so we're going to have no issues with those at all. So, let's have a look at the screws. So, first one sealed in the way they always do. We shall get rid of the bag. So this is uh, obviously the two turret options or, or will form two of the turret options. We've got some side skirts, lovely, lovely detail on those. Um, yeah, they're going to come up real nice. Got the anti-aircraft guns here. Again, really nice detail. Yeah, typical Rubicon in this one. Lots and lots of rivet detail on the turret. Um, which would lend itself very nicely to a to a wash um, and some some oil detail etc. And then we have a lower sort of bathtub type hull, um, another turret again, lots and lots of nice rivet detail. Rear fuel canisters, some side skirts with the the ones for the anti aircraft gun there, um, and the mantlet etc but yeah typical rubicon well detailed lots and lots of rivet data data detail on that side skirt there you can see all the rivets um, so it will paint up really really well as they always do or certainly the ones i've built and then the last sprue so we have the the tracks and the the road wheels sprockets idler wheels etc and what's really nice is you can see should pick it up is it's actually molded in some sag so there is some some track sag molded into the kit which is really nice to see i like that a lot uh, then the upper hull itself again for this scale phenomenal detail all the rivet detail is on it um, and it's going to be a lovely lovely build um, quite a small vehicle in comparison. I've not long done the Centurion. 
and the Centurion's a big old tank and um, this one is uh, a lot smaller but it will look cool um, and I think yeah I'm leaning towards the anti-aircraft version already but I'll probably change my mind as, uh, as, we, as we go through the build as I generally do so that's it guys there you go you got your three sprues your decals and your instructions um, so yeah it should be a lovely lovely build um, so yeah that's it that's what you get in the box so uh, we'll get cracking on this I think So there we go folks that's what you get inside the box typical rubicon uh, quality the detail is phenomenal at this scale instructions booklet form well finished nice and clear giving you options throughout um, yeah looking forward to it so i think i am leaning towards the anti-aircraft version um, and i'm going to put it on a small base now if i'm doing an anti-aircraft version what that could allow me to do is perhaps put it on a small desert base uh, with some cam netting over the top on some poles so it's kind of in the desert with that black and sand almost mickey mouse camouflage scheme yeah there's some options there isn't there so um yeah i'm gonna have a think about that but for this purpose what's in the box is absolutely phenomenal um can't recommend it enough if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe go and join the facebook group which is this is a group build um, or group build entry if you like that i'm doing um, follow all the links in the video description um, and a link to rubicon models will be in there and go and have a look at their website if this is capturing your interest as a nice simple straightforward build um, but not lacking in any detail and giving you lots of options then i can't recommend them highly enough Thanks to Steve for sending me this kit. Um, and what will happen is I'll build it for the group build entry. Um, and then this will go to the Stoke-on-Trent IPMS club for their Rubicon SIG. And it will stay with them and travel around all the various shows and stuff on their SIG table. Um, so yeah, I'm keen to get cracking on this. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get building um, and expect some updates on the channel as I go through. Very similar to what I did with the King Tiger and the Centurion at various sort of poignant points uh, during the build process. I'll put a little quick update video out um, so you can see how I'm getting on with it. But uh, yeah, they're lovely, lovely kids. You won't go far wrong. Um, so that's it, guys. As I said, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Follow the links below. And uh, until next time, stay safe. Happy hobbying. Bye-bye.